I came to own the Alton Dance Academy after I graduated college at Mount Holyoke College and obviously Holyoke um, Mass. I got my bachelor's degree in dance and I answered an ad about a studio that was for sale in the small town of Alton. So I came up here and purchased the studio. When I purchased it, it had 75 kids enrolled. Now we are at 230 kids enrolled and I this is my 10th year so I love what I do. I put together my end of year show by numerous things. First of all, I have to see how many kids I have, their abilities and their capabilities, how well they work together, how well we flow as a team. That's one part of it. And then I have to see actual how many kids I have because that matters on the stage too. The third part that I always want to make sure I take into account is what's popular, what's happening out in mainstream, you know, kind of Disney world because that's what I like to do. The fourth thing is I want to make sure who's good at acting, who's good at dancing, obviously, who's capable of handling the stress that comes with the role. All those things come into play when I decide what show I want to do at the end of year recital in June. My favorite part of teaching dance at the Alton Dance Academy is when my students walk away with a sense of value. I see at the end of the year show their smiles, they know that they've nailed their routine, they've come together as a dance team, and they've worked together towards one goal. Um, the other very rewarding you know, side to this too is realizing that I have the chance to make a difference in someone's life. Because um, obviously not all kids are going to grow up and be famous ballerinas. But if I can make sure that they've had a great day or I ask them about their day even, something as small as that really matters to a child. And I get to have that opportunity, which is fantastic for me.